Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, Prince of Peace, the one who made a promise that he's coming back to get his people. Lord, I want to thank you for life, health, and strength. I want to thank you, dear God, for a God who answers prayers. I want to thank you, dear God, for providing. Even when we are not working, he provides a way for us to eat. I just want to thank him. I want to thank him for each person who made the sacrifice to be on this line. We just want to thank you, thank you, thank you for everything, all your promises. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this preparation day and for the Sabbath that is rolling on. In the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. Praise for waking me up once again in my right mind. Hallelujah. I thank you for all the blessings of life. I thank you for food, sunshine, the breath of life. I thank you, Father, for the place that I live. I thank you for a vehicle that I drive. I thank you for my children, my grandchildren. Praise the Lord. My church family. My prayer line family members, thank you for all that you have done for me. I thank you that you have allowed me to just visit a health um, center yesterday where I got all manner of instructions on, on diet and health. And Hallelujah. I give you praise, Lord. I give you praise because you are worthy to be praised. Thank you for today, which is preparation day, and we'll finish preparing for your Holy Sabbath. Hallelujah. And your Holy Sabbath on time. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the Sabbath day, day of rest, where we can give you praise and come together to sing praises to your name. Yes, you yes, so yes. In the precious name of Jesus. I give you thanks for Brother Michael. Give I God the praise. Lord. Hallelujah. I give you praise, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord, the Lord is the last Father, thank you for waking me up this morning in my right mind. Father, thank you for waking me up and then you realize you've given me another chance. Father, thank you for my children, my grandchildren. Thank you, Father, for my siblings and their children. Yes. Thank you, Father, for my prayer line partners, each and every one of Oh, them. glory to God. Father, thank you for food on my table, food on my back, a roof over my head, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For chocolate, Father. I land by foot. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, you, yes. The Sabbath day, as it approaches in the preparation day, we get to prepare and await your wonderful, beautiful Sabbath. Father, thank you for the sun, the moon, the stars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. For every breath that I take, Father, I thank you. Most of all, your son, Jesus Christ, is who I thank you for the still life, Father. Let him come here for us. So we, we have a good word, Lord. We have a present. We have something to look to defend us. Glory, honor, and praise. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. The leadership of this prayer line. Give Lord, God the praise. The Father, Lord, I thank you. I glorify you. And it is in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, that I come to Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I said, for strong. Yeah, my Father. Thank you for waking me up every morning in my right now. Yes. Thank you for watching over my prayer line partners, Brother Grant, his wife. Give God a praise. Thank you for watching over Brother Peters, his wife, and his family, his mother. Thank you for watching over all my prayer line families. Thank you for watching over my children, my yes. children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. Praise the Lord. Thank you enough because 
a good God to me. You brought me from a mighty long way. Hallelujah. I just thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for me. I thank you for being so good to all of us. In my precious name, I pray. Amen. Hey, man. Praise the Lord. Yes. Thank you for the blessing of forgiveness, for accepting our prayers. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Hallelujah. Thank you for allowing us to your glory this week, your presence, and the unction of my spirit. Praise the Lord. I'm to each of our requests today, and for the one that you allow us to see with our own eyes. Fulfillment for your prayer. Each one of us is praying like this. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for waking me up this morning and for each and every day, just, you know, safe traveling to work. Um, thank you for making my mom's surgery a success yesterday. Hallelujah. It was so much going into it where the devil was just trying to. You know, stop everything, but I want to give thanks that everything went smoothly. Thanks for also protecting my kids as they go to school. As you know, there was a shooting in Georgia, and I received Have a mercy, call. Lord. Like, Are your kids okay? But I thank God for the encouragement each and every day, and for just the kids going to school. I mean, there's just so much out there as far as the collection facts. But I want him to just to discover each and every child as they go out each and every day. With yes. Them. I want to thank him for each and every one that's on this prayer line, Brother Michael and his family. And their thank father, you. May just continue to be with them, be with the two girls, their father, they may be able to secure work. Yes. And they may be able to move forward with their life. And just thank you for just being with us and giving us this opportunity to worship you. In your day, amen. Hey, man. Praise the Lord. All right. Praise the Lord. Uh, go ahead, Joshua. Joshua? Oh. Wow. All right, uh, Victor. Victor. All right, this mess. Wait a minute. All right. Um, okay, bro. Uh, uh, Bella, you want to give a testimony? All right. Uh, Brother Peters, go back. Yeah. All right. Uh, the Father, I mean, we come to you. Thank you for your and blessing us. See you another day. Thank you for life, health, and strength. We shall conclude. Well, thank you for bringing us together on this prayer line. I wanted to give praise and worship to your holy name. Lord, I just want to thank you for everything you continue to do about God. So, Father, thank you for my mom for blessing her, keeping her, and give her strength each and every day, the Father. Lord, thank you for continuing to be with my son, the Father, and keeping him safe. Yes. Lord, oh, there's so much going on. So, I just want to thank you, the Father, for everything. Lord, thank you so much for uh, this preparation day. Thank you for, um, thank you for this prayer line, the Father. You know, all the families represented on the Father. Thank you for. Um, each and everything, each and every member does to keep this prayer line going each and every day. Praise the Lord. That day of refuge is coming together and just rejuvenate from all of the different kids to eat the Father and fellowship with fellow believers. Lord, it's so good to be able to... Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. ...get away from all the different kids to eat. So, Lord, we just want to thank you for being such an awesome God. We love you. We thank you for... 
Hey, man, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord and praise for life, health, and strength. I want to thank him for food, raiment, and shelter. I want to thank him for answering prayers. Uh, the, the, one of my bonus children that were here, uh, she moved out. The one that was getting ready to get married, she already moved out, and I am happy. Because she was here and she was not talking to me. She don't say hi. She don't say nothing. You know. And, 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 you know, I just give God praise for that. I thank God for my beautiful, sweet wife. I thank God for, you know, his goodness, his grace, and his mercies. I thank him for answering prayers. I'm saying that again because... Sometimes it, it, it looked dim and grim. I'm not going to have this. I'm not going to have that to take care of this or to take care of that. And he comes true for me. And I just want to thank him. I thank God for you who make the sacrifice to be online. I thank God for working things out and providing for all the people that he brought in my life. Whether it be $5, $2, $3, whatever, but he provides. And all I can say is thank you, Jesus, for being such a good God. Hallelujah. Okay, today's devotional is the God of liberty. And I would ask the question, what is another word for liberty? Liberty. To be free. Praise the Lord. Father God, let the words of my mouth be yours. Amen. To be free. That's, that's another word that we can put in place of liberty. Who came unhurt and set us free? Who did that? Christ is the one who came on earth and set us free. He gave us, he gave us freedom. He gave us liberty. Okay, can we work for our salvation? No, but when we have salvation, we ought to work for Christ. We ought to find joy in working for Christ. Okay, is it very painful to live a life filled with guilt? I don't know. Have you ever felt guilty before? I don't know about you, but I have. Because I've done some messed up stuff 
that bring guilt on to me. All right? Can keeping the law alone save us? I am letting you know that that does not. There was a, there's a story in the Bible about the rich young ruler. And when he came to Jesus, what did he say to Jesus? When Jesus asked him, you know, about the law. He said, I have been keeping all the laws from my youth up. But was that sufficient to save the rich young ruler? When Jesus told him to go and do what? What did Jesus told the rich young ruler to go and do? Sell all that he had. And he went away. How did he went away? He went away sorrowfully. So I'm here to let you know that our connection with God is what going to save us. The, read, the uh, Bible text says, Now the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Can we be locked up for Christ? And still be free? I wish somebody would answer that question. Can we be locked up in jail for Christ and still be free? And the answer is yes. And if you want to go back and take a look at Paul and Silas. They were in prison, locked up and bound in stocks. But yet they were free because Christ was in their hearts. And it's the same thing in this messed up world. Same thing. You send your children to school. Teachers went to school. They did not make it back home. But when you have Christ in your heart, you are free indeed. Okay? And it says, will the truth set us free? And the answer is yes. Tell the truth and shame the devil. The spirit of God is, a, a matter of fact, is the spirit of God available to us today? Or was it just back in the disciples days? He is, al he is alive and well. And he is available to us today. And he can give us peace of mind. No matter what. It says where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. And that liberty. Is not a pretext. For us. To do evil. That is not a pretext. For us to do evil. A lot of times you hear that. Whatever is free is not good. What God gives us is salvation and it is free. But do not use that freedom to do evil. But rather an opportunity to serve who? To serve God. Not Trump. Not Kamala Harris. But to serve God. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, let us enjoy the freedom that we have in Christ. You may go through suffering, but when you have Christ in your heart, you are free. Because one day, one day, according to the lesson we get ready to study, he is going to come back and get his people Praise ye the Lord.